Loz, have you seen the Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl, Shira? She's hilarious on her self-concept is on fire. I don't think her self-concept's on fire. I actually think she's extremely insecure. I think that entire self-concept of Shira is a complete act. I don't think she's secure. I think she has married a man. She puts on an act. Honestly, what I think about Shira. When I first started watching her, I honestly thought, oh, yeah, okay, she's got really good confidence. As you watch her further and further, you realise she does actually love her husband. She, that's a whole act about the whole um, you're going to pay for me and blah, blah, blah. She's actually doing it to teach people how to do it. But secretly she actually likes her husband and when she acts like she doesn't like him and disrespects him, I think that's all bullshit. I think she's got a persona on in front of the camera. I don't think she's like that in real life. I honestly think she was someone who was a bit of an ugly duckling, found a persona that worked for her, changed her appearance, put on this I'm really confident act. It worked for her to get the attention of men that she'd never got previously. Now she teaches other women how to do it, but they honestly think that's actually her when that's not actually her. Because she, it's almost like she gets off on the persona that she has when she snickers about what she says to do, like, <laughs> say this to them. <laughs> and it's like, okay, so if that's genuine and she's really getting off on being mean to her husband or putting him down or belittling him or bossing him around, either she's lying and she does love her husband and that's an act and she's doing it for the camera or she's in a really sad marriage and why would anyone want this? A really fucking sad marriage where you don't like having sex with your husband, you're not attracted to him, you're just with him because he's older and has money and is pays for you. And I think one of those two is not a great option to have. Putting on an act for the world when you really you love your husband and you didn't really marry him for the money, he actually was the first guy who came along and really cared about you. I, I, who knows what the story is there. But she also had an affair with him. You understand how she found her husband? It wasn't that she was like this really competent woman who had all these men at her beck and call. She met a man in a bar, I think it was in a bar, who was already married and then she proceeded to have an affair knowing he was married. Anyway, I just think if she is honestly teaching women to find men in their lives who they're not really attracted to, that they're just going to sleep with for money, what is that teaching? That's teaching having absolutely no respect for yourself and having a life, a loveless life. Who the fuck wants a loveless life? Who the fuck wants to go home and out of obligation sleep with your husband? She says that. She says, oh, like, take it for the team. I don't want to take it for the team. I want to enjoy having sex with my fucking partner. What kind of life is that? I find the whole thing so odd that anybody would care about money that much that they would take it for the team and lie back and think of England with their old man, stinky old rich husband that they don't even love. How bad would your self-concept have to be? That's what I think about Shira, sprinkle, sprinkle lady, <laughs> right? Because I think honestly she's like, it's either completely an act and she does love that James guy which I think if you watch her, I think that's right, that she actually does like him. She doesn't, she doesn't despise him like she puts on an act that she does. Or she's actually in a position where she's got herself in a marriage with someone who's gross to her, old and stinky, and she has to take it for the team. Huh? But I guess she can live whatever it is her life. I know, darling, but she's teaching other women to basically prostitute themselves for rich men and take it for the team. Would you like to be that guy, handsome squid up ward, who had a bit of money and a girl's just taken it for the team and you're lying and she's lying underneath you thinking, oh, fuck, what am I going to buy at the grocery store tomorrow? Taking it for the team just so she can have a bit of your cash. What a life. What a fucking life for a woman. What a fucking life for the guy. Ugh. I, I, I just don't get it. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, I'm just like, do women care about money that much? Make your own. Or find a guy who's handsome, you're attracted to, and he has money. How about that? 
Not hard. Why don't we manifest that? People in my group do. Fucking hell. Just because someone's got money doesn't mean they have to be old and stinky.